What's up? This is Squad2448. We're following Senator 17 view. Today we'll be delivering shed to a house here on the Wood Meadow Farming map. We'll be using the Tri Axle Flatbed Trailer and the Bobcat S770 to load and unload the shed at the house. And we will be building a concrete pad once we do arrive at the house. So first up, we'll be hopping in the new flatbed. We'll be turning it on, attaching to the trailer. Then we will be using the Bobcat and lifting that onto this truck. Now it's a pretty heavy shed, but the Bobcat does have enough lifting power especially since that is a bobcat s770 but as you guys can see this is one epic flatbed truck which i'm very excited for using today we'll be backing up and attaching and this overall is a very cool truck we do have a lot of beacon lights which will be pretty helpful especially since this will be a very tall haul but next up we'll be coming over here and hopping in the skid steer at the job site we do have a mac dump truck and a kubota tractor with a few attachments to remove the grass and we will be putting the concrete and as you guys can see on the trailer we already do have a bobcat bucket which is nice and I am looking to take the JCB logo off the in game uh, forks in all of the buckets to keep it a little bit more realistic and I think that it's going to be a little bit better but as you guys can see we are coming over here now and we will be lifting this shed and the purpose for this shed is to store his snowmobiles throughout the winter season and the off season so as you guys can see we are coming over here now this is a very heavy shed and this bobcat s770 is an overall amazing skid steer for the job it's very heavy and the skid steer alone does weigh a lot so next up we'll be kind of coming over here and this actually has doors on either side which is going to be pretty helpful he will not have to back in the snowmobile so we'll be lifting this up and as you guys can see i mean this is pretty high off the ground just enough we do not want to lift it up too too much and we do want to make sure it is centered right over the axles to take the majority of the weight that looks to be good just about there so now we'll be lowering this down this was a pretty cool idea i thought of especially since you guys really do enjoy these delivering videos but as you guys can see we got that loaded up so next up we'll be backing this onto the trailer since a lot of the weight is in the back and kind of getting that bucket might be a bit of a challenge we do have to take it pretty slow since we are not really supposed to be driving uh forward with the load in the back but we'll be backing this on you guys can see the skid here does slide around just a little bit because we do bottom out but we got this loaded up I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going amazing and I'm very excited to be doing a delivering video. And as you guys can see, I thought it would be a pretty cool color to get this gray. Kind of change up our color schemes on the vehicles. So as you guys can see, we got beacon lights going here on the truck, which is nice. And the shed will be shifting around just a little bit on the flatbed, but it should not be an overall problem. And as you guys can see, we do actually have that axle drop down right now to make it a little bit easier for us since it is pretty heavy but not too heavy we'll be hopping here on the inside view and we'll be making our way over to the house which is not that long of a drive I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy doing them and all of your support is welcomed and I do appreciate it. So we will be kind of turning here a bit slow, especially since, like I was saying, we do not have a locking load and this pallet really does like to kind of slot around on us. But yes, we do have it on two pallets and uh, it is not the best to kind of transport them on pallets. But I thought that using the skids here would be very helpful because it's compact and it will do the job of many different equipment but as you guys can see we are going up this steep hill no problem at all and wow as you guys can see this hook truck is doing an amazing job we will have to take it slow especially since there was a truck over there and on turns we do not want to have any problems because we are pretty much top heavy but there is many different versions of this truck they have a much larger semi truck they do have a hook truck even a few other ones which is pretty cool but as you guys can see this flatbed one is doing a pretty good job and it is also towing a bobcat s770 and somebody down below in the comments did let me know that the s770 weighs just about 10,000 pounds so that is a very large skid so I'm not sure if that number is accurate so let me know down below in the comments but take a look at that clip clearance guys it's not much clearance from that bridge to this uh shed so i mean that's pretty good and this did take us quite a long time to get over here we did want to take our time and not kind of have the shed fall off the truck 
We are just about to arrive here. It's this giant white house over here to the right. And like I was saying, guys, we do have a Mack dump truck and a Kubota tractor already over here ready to go for us. And I think since uh, we really do have the driveway to ourselves today, I think we'll kind of just come over here, park up just like this. The least amount of movements will be better, especially with a heavy load like this. So this looks pretty good. We'll just turn our hazard lights on, and I think we'll keep the beacon lights on. I really do like them running. So first up, we do want to come over here and take a look at where we are placing the shed. We'll be placing it right over here, kind of right next to the hill. One door will be on this side, then the other door will be over here. And as you guys can also see, this looks to be his brand new snowmobile, which he wants to keep in a shed out of the weather, which is going to be pretty cool. So up next, we'll be coming over here to the Kubota tractor, and I really do strive for the realism in all of my videos, and guys have been really liking it. We'll be coming over here. I just turned the hazard lights on. We'll turn the beacon lights on. We do want to attach to it. It looks like I just detached, and we do want to turn this on. But as you guys can see, we are going to be using this machine in the back to remove all of the grass, which should do a pretty good job. And usually for cement, you do kind of mix it up in a wheelbarrow, or you do call up a cement truck. But for some reason, I do not... Uh, have the cement trucks working in the game so we do have to use a dump truck which like we're saying is not too realistic but we still get the job done so as you guys can see we are coming over here and we do want to start out and sometimes the concrete pads will be already poured but in the purchase the customer did ask us to do it, which is okay but next up we do want to come over here lower this down the ground is just about frozen and the temperatures are just right for us so we do have to be pretty careful but we should be able to manage it so as you guys can see, that looks to be good. We do want a little bit longer pad on either side of the door. So I think that's probably good just about there. We'll have to pull forward. And wow, it looks like this Kubota is struggling just a little bit traction-wise. But I mean, this is one very cool tractor. And I do get a lot of requests to kind of change up the mods. And that's what I have been doing lately. So hope you guys are excited for all of the very cool videos. I do have a big surprise, big announcement coming. So stay tuned for that also. As you guys can see, I think we'll probably do just about one more pass after this. Wow, looks like the ground is pretty much giving us a tough time, especially since it is frozen. And I mean, we are uh, spinning wheels, and we really shouldn't be, especially with the temperatures. But I mean, the ground must be frozen, especially since uh, we have already gotten snow, and it will take quite a long time for it to kind of uh, de-thaw. But as you guys can see, I mean, pretty good job so far. I think we'll do like a half a pass, and then we'll go switch over to the cultivator. Now this is also a pretty cool video, kind of uh, including delivering and building kind of into the same one, which is very exciting. We will be featuring a few new games on the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. But take a look at that, guys. Looks like this tractor is all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, if you would so call it. Looks like we are having a bit of a problem. I continue to kind of raise the three-point attachments to kind of help us out. But as you guys can see, we finished up over there, which is nice. We'll be kind of making our way back over here, disconnecting this and attaching to the cultivator so I think we'll kind of come over here put this right in front of the steps but as you guys can see he does have a giant house which is nice looks like he does not have any garages we'll be disconnecting that one right about there and the camera does move in the tractor which is nice it is pretty realistic but at high rates of speeds the camera is not the best so next up we'll be backing up to this we do want to be pretty careful attaching but wow we did a pretty good job and for the concrete we will be coming right up to the uh dump truck with a bucket we do not want to unload any more concrete than we do uh, need so I think that that's going to be pretty helpful and will save us some time on cleanup also so next up we'll kind of come over here we'll lower the cultivator down and this has been taking us quite a long time but it looks like this Kubota tractor is struggling to kind of even cultivate the ground get it compacted enough Next up, we'll be backing up and doing this last section over here, but I mean, this will be a very cool and nice shed for the customer. It is pretty large, and he could probably even fit just about three snowmobiles if he really wanted to, but he'll probably put his, like, lawnmower, any tools for the yard or anything like that along with a snowmobile, and uh, he'll keep that out of the weather, especially since it's brand new. You do want to keep it in awesome condition. So as you guys can see, that's pretty much it for this Kubota tractor. We'll come over here, get it turned off, and up next, we'll be hopping in the Bobcat S770. Now, like we're saying, guys, we will have a bit of a tough time kind of getting back on, 
to kind of get that bucket, especially since we really should not be driving on Fords because all of the weight is in the back of the skid so We'll have to take it slow. Hopefully, we do not run into any problems. But I think we'll kind of just come over here, put the bucket right. We'll put the fork just right about there. That looks to be good. And we will now be driving this on. Like we're saying, guys, it's not too realistic to load these on forwards. But that is kind of how the bucket is positioned. And I do know that some trailers do have, like, sections for the... I do know that some trailers do have sections for the forks to kind of go on the side right underneath, which is a very cool thing. I might look into kind of doing that. That will be an awesome thing to do. But next up, we'll kind of come over here. I do want to turn on the LED light bar, kind of use it since we do have it, and we'll be backing off. Looks like we did run into a bit of a problem with kind of uh, hitting the ground back there. But next up, we'll be coming over here, and we'll keep the truck right about here. We'll just turn it on, put it on high idle, and we'll be kind of getting started. But wow, very touchy stuff steering with the skid steer but uh, we'll kind of come over here and it should automatically unload right into it so next up we'll be starting up the old mac dump truck i do like changing up the mods we do use in these videos and you guys will be seeing a lot of different maps and everything will be different kind of coming up but as you guys can see we are turning it on and let's give it a try it looks like we are actually unable to kind of unload right over there which is a bit interesting so let's kind of take a look As you guys can see, it looks like it is working, which is nice. We'll keep the truck running, and we'll definitely keep the skids here running. But like I was saying, guys, sometimes when we do want to be efficient, not have too much cleanup, especially with the concrete, and we do only need a little amount, we do want to be pretty careful, and uh, concrete does dry pretty fast. But take a look at that, guys. We are backing up, and now we are building the concrete pad, which, so far, that came out very nice. We do have to kind of go along the edges, which should be okay. We'll come back over here, and... And we'll fill this bucket up. We'll come right back underneath it. And the truck automatically does stop, which is also a very cool feature. And sometimes you do have to be right up close to it. But we'll kind of do that. And then we do have gravity kind of uh, uh, bring the dump bed down, which is nice. Some dump beds do that just in case the hydraulics were to fail kind of up in the air and they do not want to be stuck at the job site. So as you guys can see, I mean, we are just about done here with this pad. We do have a little bit more touch-up work to do, which isn't going to be that big of a problem. We'll kind of come over here, take a look at that. We got all of that done. Next up, we'll kind of come in the front, and it looks like we do need just about a bucket more. So we'll definitely come over here. And like I was saying, guys, with concrete, it does show up in a concrete mixer truck, and I was unable to get that working, so we do have to use a dumb truck. Not too realistic. If you do have any cool video ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very excited for all of the videos coming in 2018. A lot of different ones and different games going to be featured weekly here on the channel. But I really do like these Bobcats. We've been using these a lot. But let me know down below in the comments, guys, if there is any other skits here we should kind of look into getting for our farm sim videos. And it looks like we do need a few more buckets. So, I mean, this might take us quite a long time, but we shouldn't be too much longer. As you guys can see, it looks like we did a pretty good job there. Next up, I do want to come over here and just clean up the edges. We do not want the concrete kind of to come on the grass. And we should be able to kind of clean it up right over here. So we're just going to drive over here. And like I was saying earlier, guys, we are on the Wood Metal Farming map. It's an amazing map. And I do appreciate Wood Metal Farming for all of their awesome mods that they do release publicly. Like this skits here. I mean, very cool. Next up, we do want to come over here and just take some of the top part off the concrete right over there a bit too much but as you guys can see I mean that's pretty much it for the concrete pad I mean it is a pretty good job even though uh, it, we did have a little bit of struggle but wow that came out pretty nice next up we'll be kind of coming over here and I believe that there is just a little bit left in our bucket so next up we'll kind of come over here and we'll just unload the little bit left we do not want any concrete in this and actually when we do kind of finish we'll ask the homeowner if we are able to kind of wash down the bucket we do not want concrete in this so next up we'll kind of come over here we'll disconnect the bucket we do have automatic uh detachments which is pretty cool especially with this very high end uh skids here so next up we'll kind of come over here and attach to this 
this is a pretty realistic palette fork for the skid steer. So I will definitely just remove that JCB logo and it would pretty much look like a bobcat. So next up, we'll be kind of coming over here and we'll be lifting this shed off and we'll be putting it into place. Now once we kind of lift it up and get it enough away, we will be lowering it down just above the ground to kind of take a lot of the weight off the skid steer. So we'll definitely lift it up. We will readjust it on the ground. But as you guys can see, I mean, very heavy shed, but we are doing a pretty good job. We'll lower it down and we do want to be right up against it because it's going to be the strongest and we'll have the most stability that way also. We'll back up. Looks like it's actually just straightening out just like that. We'll lift it up just a little bit and I mean, seeing out of this is a bit of a challenge so we do have to be pretty careful. We'll have to watch out of these and usually you would have somebody kind of help guiding you, especially with a very big one. But take a look at this guys. I mean, this shed is big. Looks like it's a 10 by 12 at least. So next up we'll be kind of coming over here, putting it over here, and also like we would be removing the pallets, but we are unable to. So take a look at that guys, this is where it is going, we'll be kind of backing up, and I mean that's pretty much it for today, looks like it is not sitting too level, which is actually pretty interesting, I thought it would sit level and we'll just kind of push it into place there as you guys can see it looks like the concrete is not making it level which i will have to look into kind of fixing here but yeah it looks like we did get it into position we do have to rotate it just a little bit but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video delivering this shed here on the wood metal farming map using the new flap and in a bobcat s770 thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more